there is a lot of issues going on with this case that are now flooring detectives and the family. I've been monitoring the case of Sebastian Rogers. He's a boy that went missing in Tennessee. His mom has a message. I love you so much and we want you to come home and you're not in trouble. Search into the 15 year old's disappearance has all failed. This is a boy that has autism. He's a high functioning autistic individual and the parents are coming under heavy fire right now because it is leading to believe that foul play is involved. But here is something that the stepfather had to say early on in the investigation. Chris and Katie tell me they've been harassed. People pointing fingers at them. You're not in this situation. You don't quite understand. Many here in the public are just concerned about the well-being of Sebastian Rogers and would like to see him come home and come home safely. However, the boy has been missing for a significant amount of time, and now this particular case has led investigators to a landfill. Landfills appear to be the most promising place for parents to dump their children because this is not the first time. I was on scene at the Leilani case, and this was related to her 20-month-old son, Quentin Simon, which was found in a landfill. Leilani Simon is behind bars. Also, Elijah Vu, he has not been found yet. He's missing from Two Rivers, Wisconsin, and also the detectives and the investigators in this case have gone to the landfill and are currently doing a landfill search. Now that we know that foul play is perceived in this case, we are going to take a look at the parents' interview. Please stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Bullhorn Betty channel here on TikTok.